Hey guys, how's it going? Isabella here from Aquazon Aquarium Services and Ponds. And today we're going to be making a new version of this aquaponic sump. All right, stay tuned. aquaponic sump a few years ago and initially it was running with a very large pump that's why I needed so many uh, outputs to it but I've changed the stocking of my aquarium and I wanted a slower flow and something smaller than this uh, aquaponic sump that I currently have so today I'm going to be redoing uh, this setup a little bit differently a little bit more aesthetically so yeah let's get it started so here's all the elements that you will need to build your aquaponic sump. You'll need this three foot planter. It's a very generic common to find in all the stores. You'll need uh, something that fits in here uh, to store your sponges, your carbon. It's basically a pre-filter and it has to fit. Also some PVC tubing that I'm actually reusing from the other sump that goes right there. And uh, also you'll need a drill. A drill bit of the size of your PVC tubing as shown right here so it has to really match perfectly you'll be using a Dremel and some epoxy uh, it's a marine epoxy you'll need a pump and some tubing I use some spare pieces I had from a canister filter and that pumps it into the pre-filter as you can see here You need to mark where you're going to place the PVC output, where the water is going to come out. It has to be at the opposite side of where the water comes in. So this is where your pre-filter goes. And that's where the output is. You'll drill the hole and press your uh, PVC piping through it. Make sure it's super snug and tight. Put some marine epoxy around the seams to make sure there's no leak ever that's going to come out of there. Put some extra marine epoxy around the tube and then you're going to put a little grill on top of it. That prevents the biomedia from escaping. Use your Dremel to make holes three across um, the top of this can. As you can see, it's just prevention. If one, you know, fills up to here, then it can go to the second and the third. So you have three holes that it can come out from. This is what your sum should look like. You'll have your pre-filter right there on the right or on the left, however you want it. And then at the opposite side, you'll have the output coming out. Here you see you can put uh, some um, sponges, you can put some carbon, whatever you desire you can put in the pre-filter, even floss. And the rest of the sum, put a small layer of biomedia just at the bottom as so. Then you're going to plant your plants inside of it. As you can see, I just used the previous plants. And then you're going to put the last layer of biomedia on the top of the plants just to hold them in place. Make sure not to put anything that can obstruct your output hole. Always below it. I've added some extra piping to make the flow better in my aquarium. So that's really optional and depending on your aquarium how you want your flow to go. Here you can see how it flows out of the pre-filter onto a little sponge and then the rest into the biomedia. So this is a little bit of a better view of the aquaponic sump after the plants are gone in. That's the full view and how it fits on top of the tank. So the water is a little bit cloudy right now because we redid the sump. Obviously there's a lot of uh, dirt that went in, but it should clear up in a couple of hours using this aquaponic sump. And uh, make sure never to wash the biomedia, but always the pre-filtration. Here's a better view uh, of the aquarium. Uh, I haven't shown you this aquarium in quite some time. So here it is. It's my Central American uh, cichlids and they're hiding in the moment because I kind of traumatized them a bit. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If you have any comments, leave them. 
in the comments below obviously if you have any suggestions let me know subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel and uh yeah hit the like button if you enjoyed this video i thank you so much for watching guys and i guess i'll see you in the next video bye Thank you.